Hey what's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how my golf is today and what's happened today and yesterday and yeah I was too tired to do a video yesterday I'm sorry about that guys but yeah Today I'm doing a video of how bad my cough and cold is today. And if you probably hear my voice, it's not going well. I've got a temperature, and right now I've got a temperature. And yeah, let me tell you what, what went on yesterday. Yesterday I woke up, went to school. This is yesterday, by the way. Felt not as bad as I do today, but I still had a massive cough, which you've probably seen in my other video on the 5th of February. And yeah, it's got worse. And. don't like it guys it's literally got worse today but yeah first of all let me tell you how yesterday went yesterday i had this cough well it started on monday which was the day before and basically i'm like coughing all day and judging how bad my cough is at night was massively bad so i fell asleep at seven o'clock i got woke up at 48 minutes past nine by the dog barking or something else i don't know but it just annoyed me it rattled me i wanted to have a nice healthy like what one, two, three, four, five. I wanted, wanted to have a nice 12 hours sleep. But yeah, as you can probably tell by this video, it was not a 12 hours sleep. I actually had barely any sleep because I got woke up and when I tried to fall back to sleep, I like got woke up on my phone making noise notifications because how silly it was me to not mute it and turn silent mode on but after this you not, might not think it gets any worse gets any worse because i went to sleep at half 10 literally could you not i had my eyes closed trying to go to sleep and i couldn't because this cough was affecting me and I found out that I couldn't sleep because I was coughing really badly. And yeah, it was a massive cough. Next up, what happened was my uncle, it, this was funny actually, the funniest part last night, it made me genuinely laugh. My uncle was trying to get the dog off the bed by kicking the quill up because my uncle thought it would win his head with the quilt and trying to get her off him because he was crossing, could see it was crossing his feet, sorry. But no, it wasn't. It was my aunt's head. <laughs> so my aunt literally got kicked off the bed by my uncle and by how angry my aunt gets at times. She had one of her mini meltdowns went downstairs and started arguing i could literally hear it from downstairs they weren't shouting but they were doing this really loud whisper like stop it now really loud because both of them are loud but it wasn't shouting they were doing that really loud whisper but yeah i wasn't asleep then either i didn't I didn't get sleep, and guess what time it was when I woke up? 
Well, not wake up. I guess what time it was when my uncle came in to give me some paracetamol and a glass of water. As you probably guessed, it was early o'clock in the morning, ridiculous o'clock in the morning. It was literally half past three in the morning. I'm not joking, I thought it was six o'clock in the morning. But yeah, I didn't check my phone. But I asked what time it was, and first of all, my aunt and uncle said, you wouldn't want to know. And then I asked my aunt, and she said it was half three in the morning. Yes, half three in the morning. And we're going to be like, oh yeah, that's fine, if it were like half six. I'd have half an hour to chill out in my bed, and I knew I was awake then. But half three in the morning. I literally tried to get back to sleep, but then I needed the toilet because I needed the toilet really badly. I felt really thirsty as well. I woke up feeling, well not woke up, I was awake, but I felt really thirsty. So I asked either my uncle or my aunt to get me a drink, and yeah, they got me a drink of water, normal water, not flavoured water. But here's where the annoying part kicks in. They were like, I was literally backwards on the bed, stroking Winnie, being quite loud. Not stroking in a bad way, but the dogs literally got woke up by my cough as well, I bet. I think I woke half the family up by my cough. <coughs> my uncle woke up coughing as well. And my auntie got woke up by literally getting kicked off the bed at half three in the morning. And yeah, that was the funniest part of yesterday. Well, today, technically. But yeah, I'm really tired now because I got out of 12 hours I could have had of sleep. I literally only had like an hour sleep because each time I closed my eyes, I like, couldn't focus on my sleep because I was coughing really badly. And yeah, I had to have paracetamol and a cold glass of water and some like, other tablet which I forgot the name of. But yeah, it was bad. But by the by, I then got up, actually got up at half seven. And my uncle were going to wake me up at seven, but my aunt is like, oh, wake him up at half seven. But, yeah. So then my auntie, my auntie woke me up at half seven. Or well, not even woke me up. I wasn't asleep anyway. I was just like, I think I was just resting my eyes because I couldn't, like, fall asleep properly because of this amount of sleep of two hours there before. In fact, no, nearly three hours. And once you fall asleep and get woke up, that's it. I literally, literally had like 42 minutes until I needed to fall asleep again. And yeah, his wake got ridiculous. I couldn't because of this cough. I was literally coughing all night. It woke him up at about 3 in the morning. Because about like half an hour later they woke, well not, oh, I just stopped saying woke me up. About three and a half hours late, well, oh, about half an hour later, got it this time. My uncle came in and asked if I was alright, and I was like, well not really, I've got this cough and it's kept me awake for about five hours. And, yeah. So I had the paracetamol and another tablet then. But when I was awake, still at half seven, I had to literally get dressed straight get dressed straight away. So I did put me off the save and deodorant on. Luckily, it was fine. I could walk properly. And yeah. And then I went to school, and my cough got even worse at school. About, what, 
20 past 11 at school. I was doing fine at school. I was interviewing people that came in to visit. I actually interviewed one person. And the others interviewed three other people after. Because I missed out on three people. And, yeah. I'm like, after I've had a coffee, it was hurting me to drink a coffee because it was, like, hot and my head was hot before then. I'm like, I'm like saying to my teacher, not teacher, actually, staff member, does my head feel too hot? And so, like, yeah, let's take you to the uh, nurse, nurse's office because I think you've got, like, a temperature on the way or something. But when I got in there, in that nursery room, I had the thermometer in my ear and I was absolutely stupidly angry when I found out my temperature. Literally, I knew I felt hot. I just thought I was, like, because the heating was on full and the body normally tricks you into being that you're cold when you've got a temperature. But literally, could you not? My temperature was 39.5 degrees celsius in my right ear and they were like oh great no wonder i'm feeling so ill with the cough on top of it when i literally coughed every time i had a headache for about two minutes each time then they were like great i want to do my lessons this afternoon and yeah i had to go home about half an hour later I was waiting in there for half an hour. About 15 minutes later, I had my temperature done again. Still the same. And if you guys don't know, your body temperature should normally be like 36.5 degrees Celsius to 37 degrees Celsius. But mum was like 2.5 more than that. But you're probably saying it don't sound that bad. But when you've got a temperature... It likes to make you want to go to bed and go to sleep. And I had a cold cough on top of it. So at precisely 11.54, my auntie arrived at the school because the nurse rang me auntie. She was all the way in Leicester with my cousin. And she had to go all the way to look for to get me. And yeah... The man saying I've got a tem temperature, and yeah, once I got here, I'm like, thank God for that, because I needed to go home. I've been losing my appetite again today. I've been feeling really weary, tired, just upset that I had to go home because I love the amount of my school attendance. My school attendance is ninety eight percent. Out of 100% because I literally only had like two days off school. And like, yeah, I'm going to batter my attendance if I have the heart over half of the school day off. But I'm like, I've got a temperature. I don't really want to be playing around playing football because that would make it much higher. Because I'd be sweating. I'd literally like pass out or whatever. So my auntie came. And said, do I want anything from the shop? And I'm like, yeah, some uh, mini eggs, please, and a drink. So she got me these mini eggs, and like a smoothie drink it was. And then at, at about 24 minutes past, no, 24 minutes past 12, I got home. It took her 26 minutes to get me home. But then I was like, oh, I have to lay down in bed. Because I had my head on the, like, cool bit of the car where the other person's head goes to lean the head or whatever it's called. Or the headrest. And I was like, felt it after. The bed rest went, the headrest went from cold to hot. And I'm like, great. So then when I got back home... I literally, like, about 25 minutes when I got back home at 1 o'clock, 
I decided to put my jammies on. And yeah, I just wanted to chill out in bed. I seen the dogs, they were surprised that I were back so early. Because I've literally missed like three hours and 47 minutes of school. Deciding on what time the taxi driver gets here, there. But the problem was me and she were gonna. But I'm um, right, I started a massive thing. Well, not massive, I started this thing where I said, Does the taxi know that I. Does my taxi driver know that I'm coming back from school early or back at school? Well, coming back from school, back at home early. And she was like, Oh, so go. I literally don't have the number. And then she found a solution among the school and asked if they had the number to ring. But I don't know what's going on with it yet. But, yes, yeah, since I've been back, I've laid down in bed. Both my ears have felt really hot, my head. I literally needed the chore about 25 minutes ago. And I nearly threw up and I just felt really down. And my auntie's thinking of me not going to school tomorrow, but there's that and then there's the attendance. But, yeah. The most important thing is that I get looked after appropriately. And, yeah. Going to school and playing football wouldn't be the solution because I'd get hot and sweaty if I still had the temperature tomorrow. And, oh my, yeah. Now I said I'd literally overheat if I played football, I think. But I'm not, I'm not going to risk it. I need to go home. So, yeah. And we're going to go back to football club today because I've not been in like two weeks. And, yeah, I couldn't because it is stupid cold and temperature and cough and literally I'm feeling drowsy now it's literally nearly two o'clock and I feel like I'm gonna fall asleep but yeah it's just the timing of the day it happens because having a temperature makes me want to fall asleep earlier and get some rest but then I'm not concerned if I lay on the cushion for too long and my body don't wake itself up because it will like go into a deep sleep that I'll get like a temperature on the back of my head but yes guys today's been an awful day for me literally the worst cold day that I could have asked for well I didn't ask for it I just got it and I'm so annoyed about it I literally nearly cried in the car I literally I couldn't cope but yeah <coughs> <coughs> see I'm literally getting like cheered up to me on now guys but yes guys if you enjoyed this video remember to leave a like subscribe Leave a comment if you're new to the channel. And yes, guys, I'll do a video tomorrow, I promise. If I have the chance to, about if it's gone yet. If my cold's gone. Or if I still have the cold. And yes, guys, if you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like. Subscribe. Leave a comment if you're new to the channel. Share this video with your family and friends. I've literally had paracetamol since I've been back and two lots of cough medicine. Lic black licorice cough medicine. And a drink. But yes guys, if you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like. Subscribe, leave a comment if you know. Share in the comments that you wish that I get back soon. Yes guys. See you all in my video tomorrow if I upload. I'm hoping I do. Peace.